What is going on everybody? Welcome to the fifth video in our Python for Machine Learning using Scikit-Learn tutorial series. Uh, in the last video we were talking about uh, pulling some of the necessary information from our data file and in this video we're going to talk about how to actually, to actually acquire the value that we're interested in. Uh, for us, the value that we're interested in is this total debt to equity ratio. Um, again, as we move forward, we will add many more features to the company. Uh, I don't think that this is going to give us anything too useful, um, at least until we separate companies by their sector. Um, then maybe this number might get useful. But for now, we want to keep it simple so we can actually visualize the out output. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll start making it more complex and likely a little more interesting. Uh, so first of all, uh, we've got the date and the Unix time, and now we actually need to acquire uh, the data. So when it comes to parsing a website, um, again, we're not actually parsing a website in this example, uh, but we are, what did I do with the... Um, but what we have is a bunch of HTML files that are ba it is identical to what you would have gotten if you had parsed Yahoo Finance. So, uh, for example here, I have uh, the stock ticker A for um, Agilent Technologies. And if we scroll down, we can see here is the total debt to equity ratio to start, which is 0 .407. Now, if we uh, generally, I mean, you can use uh, like a, a module called Beautiful Soup to do web parsing. In my honest opinion, Beautiful Soup is almost never necessary uh, unless you're doing some really complex parsing. So I'm going to show you how simple it is to parse pretty much anything. But um, anyway, what I tend to do is this is the, I want this, this right here. I want to eventually find this number. I'm just going to keep in my mind that the number is 0.407. I'm copying the element right before that number. And then if you're on a website, we're on an HTML page. So we literally can do control U if you're in Chrome or you can do right click view page source and then control F. And what we're looking for is total debt to equity MRQ, which takes us here. And then we see here is the actual value that we're interested in, 0 0.407. We can't actually search for 0 0.407 because um, that number is going to change, obviously, given the document. So uh, no longer do we need to print uh, the date time and the Unix time. Uh, we'll keep the sleep there for now. And now what we want to do is figure out how we can pull this data. Now, again, you could use something like Beautiful Soup and you know use their like table reading functionality, or you can just do the following. So we have um, the information there for the date time. Now what we want to do is we currently have no way of opening the full file yet. So we need to specify how to build the entire path. So currently we have this path. Then we have the stats path added to it. And then from there, we haven't done anything. Um, so we want to open up the file. Uh, so basically path plus stats path plus file equals um, <laughs> what we want. So what we'll do is we're going to say uh, the file. So we'll say full underscore file underscore path equals each underscore dir plus um, a slash plus file. So that gives us the file path because you have to understand um, we're currently, uh, where's each dir? Uh, each dir here in stock list. So this would give us the actual um, path to our file. Now what we want to go ahead and do is the following. So uh, first let's go ahead and print this right here. So we'll just take this copy paste and now we want the source. So we're going to say the source for the source code, source code <laughs> equals open. Normally you would, this would be like a URL lib open task with a dot read at the end. But since we're not actually parsing from the website, um, we're opening a file instead. Uh, open full underscore path, on, oops, underscore, let's just copy and paste, <laughs> copy, paste. Open that with the intention to read and then dot read. And then let's go ahead and print the source just to see if we're on the right track. Um, cool, save, F5 to run. And my 
take a second, yeah. Okay, so here is the entire source code. So we got all of that. So cool. We are indeed on the right track. Uh, let's comment out the printing of source before we get in trouble. And uh, now we actually want to pull the value that we're looking for. And it turns out that Yahoo very rarely changes much. But uh, to get this, you'll have, you see, we have the actual thing that we're trying to gather. Then we've got basically a colon and this before the actual value. Okay, uh, so that's easy enough. Um, so what we'll do is um, you'll have something like this. So we'll say value equals source dot split, and we want to split by gather. So then, so whatever we're trying to gather, because that's going to be um, this. So we want to split, and this is how you split like a big block of string data. You can split it up by a value and we're going to say the value we want to split it by this orange right here is and in fact let me zoom in fancy stuff here um, the orange right here let's see if we can get even bigger sometimes it's really difficult whenever I uh, that's too big um, I look at this sometimes afterwards and I'm like yeah that was pretty much impossible to read since I'm filming the 1080 anyway total debt to equity the orange is the uh, gather and then we want to add this bit to it so we'll literally just highlight that. We can hit copy, come over here, gather um, plus, uh, does it have any quotes in it? Yeah, it's got double quotes. So we'll use single quotes, paste. So these double quotes here, as long as you encase them in a different form of quotes, you're totally fine. So anyway, um, or you can also hit escape character, but we'll just, this will be fine. So sp dot split by that. And then when we when we have splitted by that, um, on what side of this split is the element we're interested in? Well, it's on the right side. So we would not use element zero, we'd use element one, which is basically this and then everything after, right? So uh, let's get back to where we were. Uh, so we want the firsteth element there. And then what do we do? Well, we do one more dot split. And this splits a little easier. Uh, basically, we want everything, like, since we have all this, what, what would be the most sane thing to split by? Well, pretty much like this, right? <laughs> Just the closing table data tag. That's it. So copy that. Come over here. Split by the closing table data tag. Um, and then we want the zeroth element there. Done. We have parsed this table um, with one line of code basically. So we, we, we read the source and we used one line of code to get the data we needed. And this, over the course of a decade, just simply, as far as I've seen thus far, has not changed on Yahoo Finance. Okay, so now let's say we want to print uh, the ticker and then the debt to equity ratio. So first, what we'd want to do is we need to define the ticker that we're you know, using right now. And so the ticker, which is like the stock ticker, equals uh, each dir dot split by, and basically we want to split by a backslash, so we do backslash, backslash, and then the element is going to be on the right-hand side. So that will give us the actual ticker. Then what we can do is we come down here, and we can do basically print uh, ticker, and then plus colon, comma, value. And this will give us the ticker and the price to equity, or I mean the debt to equity ratio. And then what we'll do is we'll just tab over the sleep. So this will give us the ticker and the debt to equity ratio uh, for that company for the decade, right? So we'll save and run that. And uh, I forgot what we were printing out the, um, <laughs> the directory every time. We'll fix that in a second. Uh, but anyway, you can see here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. They went to zero for a little bit. Awesome. Here it is, here it is, here it is. All the way down to now. I mean, this company is in massive debt. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We went to uh, AA. Uh, we stopped it. So really this company, yeah. See, at the end, this company is in a large amount of debt. Um, 
Uh, since my time here, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we'll have to graph debt to uh, yeah debt to equity for like all of the companies. We'll have to graph that. It'll be 500 elements times about probably 20 or something. But it should be okay to plot up on on Matplotlib. Um, I'd be really interested. I think all the companies I've seen so far have increasingly take on, taken on a lot of leverage and debt over the years, especially very recently, um, which is really worrying if you ask me. All of the companies are in massive debt and it's in a market that's in theory in massive debt from QE right now and it's just it's insane. So anyway, that's uh, interesting. So uh, now uh, we've got the ticker and the value so we've parsed the data that we want and now we need to store it and structure it in such a way that we can use it right so we've acquired the, the data right but now we have to save it so we can later on later access that data but we want to save it um, with all of the companies so we'll go through all the companies and save these values for them and then maybe eventually we'll go through and save them by sector or something like that but anyway that's it for this video in the next video we're going to be actually uh, using pandas to structure our data and then output it to CSV so later we can access it with pandas and be very efficient. So uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.